Priscilla, professor and playwright with the world premiere of Six Essential Questions here in downtown Toronto. How do you feel? Oh, I feel absolutely fantastic. Yes. Now, your play deals with a very serious issue, which questions the unconditional love of a mother, which is very paramount in the South Asian culture. We're taught at a very early age that your parents are supposed to be respected and loved and treated in a very particular way. So it's very interesting to know that your play is based off of that and your own personal relationship with your mother as well. My situation is a little bit unique, <laughs> although I would love to be in that uh, in that dynamic of having both of my parents who were there and raised me my, in my childhood. That wasn't the case. I have a South Asian father um, who in many ways was very typical South Asian father um, who uh, gave us a lot of traditional values. But my mother ran off when I was eight years old and I didn't know where she was or have any contact with her for 20 years. So whether a mother's love is unconditional in this case is also determined by whether or not she was there and whether or not she helped raise you and does she actually have love for her own children. This is very messy and complicated material, but um, it is striking a chord with people because a lot of, a lot of people have not grown up with both parents who have been there and been supportive and helped raise their family. To take such a personal and a traumatic experience and be very open about it, you wrote a memoir about it as well, and now it's on stage in a play. Describe that process for me. Did it help you come to terms with the situations that you had to deal with growing up? It was great to write the play and the memoir. What, what is atypical about my writing situation was that I wrote both at the same time. Okay. Usually you write one, let's say you write the memoir, and then you'll adapt it into a play. But what I was doing for the last several years was writing the memoir, which is an extremely factual account of what occurred when I reunited with my mother for 12 days and, and who I encountered and, and how complicated and messy that dynamic was. At the same time I was writing the factual memoir, I had this other outlet, which was the play, where I got to decide how can I express what this actually feels like in, in a much more surreal space, a much more mythical and metaphorical space, and give it the language and the kind of mythical characters that I think the story deserves. You know, at the moment you met your mom, it sounds like it was somewhat of an identity crisis. A lot of us struggle with that, I mean, especially as globalization hits the world. We all have various different identities, we all feel we can be part of this culture and part of another culture. What's the reception been with the audience? A lot of the younger generation yes. who have grown up living all over the world with multiple cultures in their own families, with multiple ethnicities, multiple religions. The diaspora there's, at the same time? Absolutely. Yeah. And there's something about the, the, this idea that our identities are a lot more fluid than we think they are. And the things that we're going to inherit from our parents are going to be different than what they inherited from their grandparents. So all generations, I think, are responding to different elements in the play, uh, as well as the memoir. But from, from that standpoint of, you know, fractured identity, yeah. This seems to really be touching a younger generation and again, not necessarily in a tragic way, but more in a humorous way and a kind of acknowledgement that yes, our identities are going to be multiple. One of the things that interests me the most is between all these generations, there's a different definition of not just a family, but a mother. Everybody has a mother, yeah. right? It's the one thing we can't escape. It's the one thing that uh, in certain science fiction movies, for instance, like Blade Runner, that becomes the distinguishing factor of whether or not you're human. Yes. If you're human, you have a mother. So you can imagine what it was like growing up without a mother and having to think about whether or not I was human and whether or not people look <laughs> at you like you're human because yeah. they do kind of look at you like you're a bit of an alien creature. They do think at the same time that we over-sentimentalize mm what a mother's relationship to, particularly to a daughter, should be. And we have these ideas that we take from movies and we take from <laughs> culture, we take from books that say, my relationship with my mother should be like this. And if it's not like this, then there's something wrong with us. Yes. Well, I think that there's so many different definitions of what a mother-daughter relationship could be. And it's more interesting and imaginative and I think beneficial to explore that.